Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Hey guys, this video is going to be a short one. Many people are asking, what is Speed IQ? And it is winter, it's 40 degrees. I won't be able to do too many demos, but I'm going to pull up a couple of Ego mowers so we can kind of go over, you know, self propel on those models versus this new touch system, right? It's a sense system speed iq that's what it's called all right it is on the new uh, lm2167 sp and the lm2160 sp that's the tool only so why don't we go ahead and get this started and check this out all right so these guys already have batteries in them. I'm going to go ahead and put the 12 amp hour battery in the new 2167 SP. All right. And, and later on, I'll take that battery and I'll see if it fits in these two guys. So, again, new model, 2167 uh, uh, SP. Previous model, still current, 2156 SP. Brooklyn likes that one. And then this is a value model that they just came out with called the 2114 SP. All right, so they're all self-propelled. All right, let me go around and we'll start going over some of the differences in, you know, speed IQ. All right, so here we are with three mowers. And here you go, you know, your basic, your standard that we're used to, right, in, in a lot of the uh, Ego mowers. You've got the lever system, and then you've got your little click, so you can go ahead and adjust how fast. Okay, so that's one. And this is the 2114 SP. Now here's a 2156 SP, and it's got the touch drive system, right? So if this is down all the way, touch drive won't work at all, okay? And then you've got your speed IQ, which IQ is really the sense system, right? So you put your hands on here, as you start pushing, it basically, you know, they're saying that it basically recognizes the stride and the speed that you're looking for. And uh, to my knowledge, these should be able to go 0 0.9 miles an hour to 3.1 miles an hour. Okay, so let's go ahead and try out this first model real quick. As mentioned earlier in the video, we don't, it's, it's 40 degrees, 39 degrees, winter, and grass is bumpy, it's frozen. So we're just going to do a simple demo here. So on the lowest setting, okay, and as long as Brooklyn goes out of the way, basically you just grab the lever, and this is the slowest setting, right? Now, if you come over here to the 2156 SP, Brooklyn, come here, baby, come here. i got to get you out of the way. Come here. All right, stay here. So it's off now, so it's got an off setting. So the, the 2114 and the older models don't have an off setting, right? But if you click it one up, again, press the button, and it jumps for a second, but that's your slow speed there. Okay, now if we go back, and again, I gotta watch Brooklyn. Come here, baby, come on, okay, lay down. All right, so I'm gonna just get this on, okay? And now you have to turn the self propel has an auto on the menu or it has an off. All right, and it's this button here. So if it's off, well, it's not going to do anything. But if it's on auto, let's just walk a little bit and see. I have to move this out of the way. So you can't just grab the handle and push. It won't work that way, okay? And I want you to listen a little bit, too. So you do have to pull the green bar in, okay? So the green bar is pulled in, and it senses my hands on the bars, and it's going slowly, you know? And as I go faster, I do feel it engage. So that does work. Now... One question I have is, if I am using Cell Propel, will the mower, you know, not allow me to pull back? So let's see. So, all right, I'm going to basically pull this in. All right. Cell Propel's on. And now I'm going to pull back. 
All right, motor's engaged a little bit. All right, self propel still on. And now, you know, the motor's not engaged, so it's interesting. So how do we do that? All right, it's engaged, and then it stops engaging. So it doesn't seem as bad, and I know that's kind of a design of an Ego mower, okay? But, you know, self propel is engaged. It's on, you can hear it. And if I go back, you know, the motor is still engaged, so it requires that you push up and pull back. All right, so that seems to be the trick to get the motor not to engage. So let me play a little bit more here. I'm going to watch Brooklyn because for some reason she's decided to get up. Brooklyn, go lay down. All right, so self propels engaged. I'm going faster. All right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to pull back. So no engage issue there as far as the motor is concerned. All right. All right, I pulled it back again. Just want to play with this more. So it's on. You know, it, it it's on and it's ready for you. As you can see, if I if it's you know basically gets engaged when I pull the wheels back. You know, if I pull, push up and pull back, it seems to stop. So again, I'm holding on to the bar. I didn't let go yet. All right, so making believe I'm, I'm mowing. Engage, push up, and then back. So that seems to kind of fix the whole, you know, mower engaged while you're, push, you're pulling back. So, all right, but I'm trying to see... Again, I'm on a short path here, guys, because, again, the lawn is shot. So let me try this. It's, it's on. Okay. So it's just kind of sensing, you know what I mean? Basically, you know, these, these I don't know how that works, right? I think that's the mystery. What is speed IQ? Is it legit? It's working, though, you know? So I didn't let go of the bar yet. I'm wondering also if the blade is involved in this where it senses resistance. You know, I, I, it's got to be a part, you know, that's got to be a part of the equation, you know. And I'm not going to know any more until I have some grass to cut and it's warmer out. So, guys, I really hope that helped, you know. I just figured let me put together something really short and, uh, you know. Now let's go ahead and just see if the 12 amp hour battery fits in the other mowers. That's always a question. So did I answer what speed IQ is? I, I don't know. I don't think I did. You know, is it just the sense system here on the bar? Is it a combination of the resistance of the blade? I think that's something that'll get answered definitely in the warmer weather with grass that isn't bumpy and frozen. All right, again, it is, a, it is this, right? This definitely it plays a part. But I, I believe the resistance of the blade plays a part somehow. Now, let me go ahead and take the battery out, the 12 amp, and I'm going to put it in these two and kind of see if it fits, which I believe it will. This is a newer model, so it, it looks bigger right off the bat in comparison to, to this. The shape's a little wider if I look at this versus, you know, this here is a little bit rounder on the top. You see the shape? So we're just going to pop the battery out real quick. That's all. For those that always have the question, will the 12 amp hour battery work? We tested the 12, 10 amp hour battery when that came out. So will it work in the 2114 SP? Yeah, no problem, right? Do we have room? I mean, we've got room, you know. I can put my fingers in here. So we've got room. All right, so I'm trying to just get you a view there. All right, let's take it out. Now, this is older, right? So this has got an older, and it ain't that old, but will it fit? It fits with no problem. Again, let's come around and just kind of get a view of, you know, the extra room, right? And on the top, you have the extra room. I mean, the battery is obviously got that arc shape, right? So a little tighter over here, but 
we can put our fingers down there. We've got the room. We've got the room. Now, the one thing I want to check real quick, since this is shaped differently, do we have more room on the sides with this mower? And I think we do. Yeah. Um, it's hard to tell it. It looks like, you know, because of the shape, it looks like, you know, it does have a little more room, you know, for a battery that gets thicker each time, maybe a 15 amp hour, etc. So, guys, I really hope that helped. I hope it answered your question. If this video in any way helped you out, definitely give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. If you're new to the channel, take a moment, subscribe. We'd love to have you as a member of the family. And share our video with your friends, your family, maybe in chat rooms that you're in. And follow us on social media. It'll be right up there. All right? Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hey, guys. Take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.